Hi, Joe Walling, uh, aka Boeing Bowhunter from the SaddleHunter.com forum. Thought I'd uh, do a quick review of my pack and how I carry stuff into the woods. I do things a little bit differently than most. Instead of using a standard backpack, I uh, pull my turkey vest out during uh, deer season and use it as well. For that, uh, it works great for carrying my stuff. I've got separate pockets for everything, so I keep things organized. They're right where I can find them. I don't have to dig to the bottom of a pack for them. Um, it, it, fits fairly tightly. There's not a lot of profile issues. I can slip through uh, brush fairly well. Uh, just works out really well for me. I've been using this turkey vest for um, probably 15 years for for my any big game hunt I've been on. Turkey, deer, whatever. It's been my pack of choice even back before I was uh, hunting out of a saddle. So I guess we'll walk through what's in my pack real quick and uh, we'll go from there. So in this front right pocket here, I keep my release, uh, the zip pocket here, got a headlamp, and a compass. Uh, next pocket here, the larger pocket on my front here, I carry my binoculars in. I keep a, about a two foot lanyard on them with a keychain carabiner. This keychain carabiner hooks to the uh, bridge where it girth hitches around the tree when I'm in there. So these hang right against the tree. They don't swing around what, or anything like that. But they're right within reach when I'm hanging from my saddle so I can pull up and use them. And the, the length gives me enough room that I can get free motion with them wherever I need to look. Uh, also in this pocket I've got some anti-fog cloth for the binoculars. I also use it for rifle hunting. Um, but it's, uh, it's a small little package, and it's better to have it with me than to forget it. Um, also in here I've got a Ziploc bag that I keep a few sheets of paper towel in. You never know when things might get wet or when you might have a use for paper towel out in the woods. Next pocket here is where I carry my camera. Obviously the camera's on a tripod right now, but here's the, uh, the arm I use on the end of my my camera mount so I can self film when I'm in the tree. Also in this pocket I've got a pair of rubber gloves. Um, keeps the hands from getting too gross when you're cleaning a deer so you can you don't you know don't have to get that stuff under your fingernails and can still use your hands after you're uh, done. And my knife. Uh, over here in this corner I've got my sys hauler attached. I made a couple of uh, molly loops here so I can attach the sys hauler. The, uh, in that sys hauler I've got uh, my lineman's belt. This also doubles as my bridge once I'm in the tree. Um, I've explained that in another video, but uh, I love the 30-inch uh, tether on the Mantis for climbing, but it's too short for me to sit in. Um, I just like a little longer bridge, so I swap this out once I'm at height. Also in the sys hauler, I've got a backup tether. I carry a backup tether that I may use uh, if it's wet out. Uh, I don't like to get the rappel rope too wet. Uh, here in northern Michigan, things change from rain to freeze really quick. Um, I hunt remote, so I can't dry my stuff out for quite some time. So if it rains for a few days, the rope would stay wet. And uh, there's not much fun rappelling on a frozen rope. So if it's raining, I keep the rope in the pack. I'll climb and uh, hang off this and just break out the rappel rope for getting down out of the tree. Uh, over here I've got, this is my collect all pocket if you will. I've got a grunt tube. I keep it on a retractable lanyard. I can hang this also off my gear gear strap and it hangs right next to the tree. And if I need, a, need to use the grunt, I can. Uh, set of reading glasses. I'm bifocally challenged. Um, I hate wearing these progressive bifocals in the woods because you have to be focused right on where you're looking. So to look to either side, you got to turn your head all the time. I put contacts in for distance vision. It saves me that hassle. I can just use my eyes. But when I put those contacts in, reading's out of the question. So if I've got to look at my phone or um, fill out a tag, anything along that line, I need these things. It's a must-have in my pack. Uh, next here is my my bow hanger, gear hanger. 
I've got about a four or five foot piece of daisy chain dam steel that I girth hitch around the tree. I hang my pack off the end of it. That keeps it taut so that when I put my uh, clipter through it, set it up against the tree, I can hang my bow and this will not come down the tree because the pack's hanging on it. I've got my uh, Madrock Safeguard and the carabiner for it. I uh, use this to rappel out of the tree. I ascend on it if I'm using my climbing rope. And I also probably hang on this most of the time. I also carry a little, what I call an emergency kit. So if I were to ever drop that Madrock Safeguard, I've got an, an extra little bit of hardware here to help me rappel. I carry an extra beaner in here, um, and uh, black diamond ATC sport with a Prusik cord, so that I can uh, rappel down the tree if I drop my safeguard, changing um, from my short tether to my rappel rope. Um, I haven't had to use it yet, but it's good to have a backup way to get out of the tree. This little pocket up here. I keep a little canister in, a little plastic canister, and in that canister I have a small grappling hook, it's just a weighted snagging hook, but it works great for picking up those things you drop out of the tree, you know, I drop a glove, a hat, uh, I picked arrows up with it even, just fishing around, catch, catch the vein end. Um, you name it, I've dropped it out of a tree and this has picked it up. I also have a little flagging tape. Uh, I, I use it for marking blood, if uh, last blood, first blood, if I want to uh, step back out and let the deer lay or I want to just go drop my stuff off, it's handy for that. I always pick this stuff back up out of the woods if I put it out there though. It's a pet peeve of mine to walk through the woods and find flagging tape spread all over. So if you use flagging tape, please clean up, clean up after yourself. We'll move to the back pouch here. As you can see, I can carry my stuff. The stick stays fairly, uh, fairly centered. Um, it's not catching on brush as I walk through. That's the biggest thing in my pack is my single climbing stick. And it, uh, it's well out of the way. It's not rattling off stuff as I walk through the woods. Works really well for me this way. Stay stuck between those two uh, attachment points. Uh, I, in that pack, I carry my gloves my face mask, my hat, I also put any layers, upper layers I may put on in that pack, so I've had, uh, you know, usually that's, this time of year be one coat, um, but uh, it could be a couple of sweatshirts, a wool jacket, and that, in a heavier coat, a camel coat. I generally walk in in just shirt sleeves, uh, even if it's cold, I don't want to work up a sweat, so it's better to get dressed at the base of the tree. Also in the pack, my Predator. I'm going to undo a clip here, so I've got to reach a little bit. Um, my single Hawk Helium, modified Hawk Helium climbing stick. Um, Use that to get up the tree. Makes a nice, lightweight, compact climbing method. Forty feet of climbing rappel rope. Um, this is how I get down out of the tree. Also, in there's my homemade camera arm. Uh, it's on a boat buckle strap. I can strap this to the tree. Attach my camera arm, or my camera handle to it, and it allows me to uh, self-film. Pretty much empties the pack. Oh, there's a water bottle over here too. Um, I wear my, my Mantis in just like this. Um, 
see I wear the leg straps extremely loose. I probably don't even use them, but uh, they're just for comfort. I'm, I just can't quite bring myself to cut them off, but I wear them extremely loose. To get away from the flapping of the saddle, I, this flapping when you're walking, I pull the bridge tight, tuck it underneath the belt, pull it up taut. That holds everything tight against me. On the back of the saddle, the only thing I carry on my saddle is my pull-up, pull-down rope. I leave it here all the time so that it's, uh, I never lose it, forget to take it out. It's kind of hard to get your rope out of the tree without it. Um, but that's uh, just some paracord on a kite spool with a little keychain carabiner to hook to my rope to pull her back down out of the tree. As I said, I do this a little differently than most guys. That uh, turkey pack, turkey vest works really good for me. Um, one of the things I really like about it that I discovered last year was the pack has the padding in it for ventilation. This pad right here is about an inch thick. I hang this vest when I'm in the tree right smack in front of me. So these wrap around the tree and I can still reach all the pockets while I'm in the tree. And I hang it so that it's at knee height, so that when I'm sitting and standing on my predator, kneeling against the tree, this pad is my knee pad. So I don't need separate knee pads for the, uh, for the sit. Again, another advantage to using the pack as it is. It's not a blob on the side of the tree. It sits right in front of me, and I can just push it against the tree with my knees. Um, that's about all the, all, I, all the equipment I carry with me other than my bow. And uh, the pack works really well for me. If you're looking for something a little different to try, give it a shot. Maybe it'll work for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, be safe out there. Thanks.